Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So it's Summer of Pain, week number five, and we're going to be fighting Venom. And there are two objectives. Uh, you have to have a Spider-Verse champion and a Tech champion. There's also one for a uh, Symbiote. But for this particular uh, go-round, we're going to be using Spider-Man Stark Enhanced. He is Tech. And he's also Spider-Verse. So we'll be able to get two of the three objectives done just by defeating Venom with Spider-Man Stark Enhanced. Uh, as of this recording, I have not done the second, um, and la or not the second, but the third and final objective yet. Uh, but I'll do that one probably sometime later on after I do this video. All right, so uh, you can see the active buffs on Venom. Uh, point blank, you do not want to knock him down. That's that's the bottom line. So you do not want to use specials because specials knock your opponent down. So no specials and just fight. Now, the problem with Venom and why a lot of people hate him, uh, there's two reasons. One, his special two is very difficult to evade. I can do it, but not consistently. So I do not want to uh, push him to a special two. But if you can evade the special two easily, then you're golden, okay? Uh, just bait out his specials. But the way you want to fight him, obviously, as I said earlier, no specials, and you want to bait out special ones. Now, what makes Spider-Man Stark Enhanced so good at this is that Spider-Man Stark Enhanced, as long as he has poise charges, can put a taunt on his opponent. So when Venom gets stingy, with his specials, Spider-Man has a taunt on him, he'll be more likely and it'll make it easier for you to bait out those special ones or special twos. Although I haven't had to bait out his special twos uh, for very long. He really likes throwing his special two. But the special one, he can be pretty stingy about it. Uh, the other thing, if you are using Spider-Man Stark Enhanced, you wanna stay above uh, 50% health. That's because you're going to do more damage above 50%. I believe your crits will be um, uh, be there more often. Um, it's been a while since I have fought with Spider-Man Stark Enhanced, uh, but I do remember that much. Also, don't rely on your auto evade because you cannot evade against Venom. He shuts down all evade on Spider-Verse champions. So it's just going to be you. You evading manually, all right? So as you can see here, the fight is pretty straightforward, okay? You want to push him to a bar of power, maybe a little bit more if you like, and bait out the special one, all right? You do not want to get trapped in the corner because that will be a death sentence, okay? Um, I'm including all of my uh, tries so that you can see, you know, my, my process, okay? Uh, but that's pretty much the um, strategy, okay? Um, he's just a very beefy Venom, uh, so the fight takes a little bit of time. Now, I got a little nostalgic when I was fighting uh, Venom because in Labyrinth of Legends, and you saw there, very quickly, boom, boom, he was done, okay? Uh, one mistake and it will be over for you, okay? Uh, but that was a nice warm-up, all right? Now, in Labyrinth of Legends, you also have to fight a Venom. I use Spider-Man Stark Enhanced for my Labyrinth of Legends runs. Full exploration, I only brought in other champions when the fight just couldn't be done by uh, Spider-Man Stark Enhanced. He has no... Um, what do you call it? Uh, immunities. Just look at this. I'm just like, wow. All right. So the first run was nice warm up, right? I don't know what that second one was. I was like, okay, let me calm down. Uh, I am not going to claim anything that is not true. So those were my mistakes. They had nothing to do with the current parry uh, evade issues that we are experiencing. I was very concerned 
about that because I have experienced those all while I'm doing arena or any other content. So I expected to have this happen here. What I'm trying to do is compensate for the parry evade issues. So I'm trying to do everything a little bit early. I found that doing it a little bit early helps. Now, the uh, parry, not an issue because you don't really want to parry Venom. Okay, you'll notice that I'm playing a no parry style because he does a lot of damage. He does a lot of damage in your block, okay? Um, he gets a lot of furies. And if he hits you, he's going to put a bleed on you, and that's going to probably take you out. Okay? Now, I was not very happy with how this fight started here. Look at my health already. And I was like, Ugh. I was like, you know what? Let me just keep going. I need to get into the rhythm. I need to warm up. So some of the techniques that I use, like right here, I knew my five hit combo was not going to push him to a special one. Okay, so now I'm going to have to evade. I'm trying to also build up my poise charges, but I'm scared of the evade issues. Okay, so here we go. And I'm pushing him back. All right, now I did not bait it out right there because I'm too close to the left edge. So I'm hitting into his block to get myself more space. Okay, I want to give myself way more space. Do not want to get trapped in the corner with Venom. So that's kind of my technique see like right here you know i hit into his block try and you know bait out all right here we go see here i just back off uh and then hit into his block it's a very similar uh strategy uh that you have to use against uh thing like if if you're fighting thing and he gets to 15 rock stacks and he doesn't have one bar of power the way that you can handle that if you don't have a counter that's going to be able to stop his unstoppable uh you hit into the block which won't build up the uh rock charges and it'll build up his power well with venom it's going to build up his power just the same as it does for anybody else and then it'll allow you to bait out that special one okay so at this point I am well below 50%, so I'm not doing as much damage as I could. I was like, you know what? I could restart, but I said, let me keep going. Let me see how far I can go. You know, I already know the fight's gonna be a little bit longer than uh, I was hoping it would be, but you know, we're doing okay. You know, he's, he's going down slowly, but steadily. And I am getting into a rhythm here, okay? And all it takes at this point is to maintain this strategy, the same style. As long as I have poise charges, which you should get poise charges just like this, because Venom is so aggressive. You're just evading, evading. You're going to get the poise charges. As long as you have poise charges, you're going to be able to put a taunt on Venom. And you will be able to get those special ones out. So it's basically wash, rinse, and repeat, okay? He, he fires the special one, I go in, okay? Don't have enough for a special, so I back off, building up the poise charges as I go. Wait for him to back off, he's not backing off here. All right, he did a heavy, boom, that's my in, I go in. So one of two things, either he's gonna back off or he's gonna fire that heavy off, and both of those times, that's when you wanna go in. Now, if he refuses to throw a heavy, refuses to back off you might have to try and do an intercept which is very very dangerous against venom but you don't want to get trapped in that corner you want to keep him on his side of the corner so at this point i'm like okay i got this this is this is good you know i just need to stay focused stay on target you know stay on target uh for those of you who are star wars fans um and as long as he's firing his specials off like this uh, we're good. Now, see, he backed off there. Okay, that's fine. All right, there you go. And then you go in. And I was so itching to fire off my special three. But don't do it. Don't do it. All right, so here we go. Again, not enough for a special. He backed off, hit into the block. You know, okay, still don't have enough. Boom. So what happened there? I got tired. The reason I don't like long fights 
is that I lose focus. Now, I was trying to stay focused, and that was a poor decision in the end. It wasn't a mistake. I went for a par um, uh, an intercept, and you saw what happened. Now, if I had stayed with my strategy, we would have got him. So I'm looking at this, and I'm like, there is no way I want to do all that again. Now, I could get the solo. If you want to see a solo... There's going to be plenty of uh, fights posted up on YouTube where people got the solo. I didn't have the time. When I was making this video, um, not the voiceover, but when I was actually recording the fight, uh, I had some things I needed to go do. And I wanted to get this done as quickly as possible so that I can then go do them. Okay, So I was not trying to... Uh, just get a, a solo. But hopefully you saw enough that you see what it takes to get the solo. Okay. So I went ahead and used a revive. I've, I have plenty of them. I think right now I have like 11 in my overflow. Um, so not a problem uh, using a revive. And I wonder, uh, you know, when it gets even harder later, uh, whether you're going to end up using a lot of revives. Now, right there, we got really lucky. I went ahead and tried to do um, an attack while he had a special and he almost intercepted me with his special. Go back and look, you know, I went in for the attack, he fired his special and I dashed back very quickly. That was just pure reflexes. Otherwise, that fight would have been over right there. Okay, that special would have took me out. All right, but I'm above 50% uh, health. That's why I healed up. Uh, that's also why it took over 20,000 units to fully explore Labyrinth of Legends. I didn't have a good counter, no egg on, no nothing like that. And I kept healing up uh, my Spider-Man Stark Enhanced. All right, so that was it. We got him down and you got to see my process from start to finish. Now, if I was really that interested in you know, getting the solo, I could go back, do the solo, um, and then post that up as if that was all I ever did. But no, that's not my style. Uh, I figured this is what I should do. All right, so hopefully you found it entertaining. So take care, click like, hit subscribe, leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about this video. And you all have a blessed day.